Kagoshima Prefecture, which is located at the southern tip of Kyushu, has always been the southern gateway of Japan and has used its location to take the initiative in promoting exchanges with various regions of Asia and the world. Kagoshima University was founded in 1773 and therefore has had over 200 years of education history and experience. Since its establishment, it has developed greatly over time, and it is now the largest national university in the southern Kyushu region, with three campuses, nine undergraduate facilities, nine graduate schools, and more than 10,000 students. The intent of this specialized course is to educate students who can participate in the globalization of industrial society as well as contribute to the international community with a focus on Southeast Asia, the Southern Pacific, and Africa. Students who take this course will acquire expertise in sustainable production and in the rational use of food resources, all the while enriching their worldview and ethical sense. The faculties of Agriculture and Fisheries collaborated and established this course, which consists of an agriculture-based subcourse and a fisheries-based subcourse. Here, students can study both agriculture and fishery sciences. Kagoshima University is one of the only two universities in Japan with both agriculture and fisheries faculties. This special collaborative course aims to foster individuals who can contribute to international society through the acquisition of expertise in both sustainable production and the rational use of food resources. The objective of the special program is to develop individuals who can contribute to the international community with a rich worldview and a strong sense of ethics. We also educate talented students from abroad to become involved in the development of international food resources. This program is unique in that both Japanese and international students study together, and it includes specialized courses in English, overseas training, field practice, internships, graduation projects, and Japanese language education. Another special feature of this course compared to other undergraduate courses in Japan is that it enables students to communicate in foreign languages through the use of international student TAs and native English-speaking faculty members. In addition, common education courses and specialized courses are also offered in English, therefore enabling foreign students with various Japanese language ability levels to acquire necessary skills. At the same time, the university has created a more international environment by offering courses to improve international understanding and awareness. These courses are conducted in collaboration with JICA, also known as the Japan International Cooperation Agency. These courses are designed to promote work with trainees from abroad. My name is Mundelanji Vestergaard. I'm Associate Professor uh, in the Faculty of Agriculture. I'm appointed in the special course of International Food Resource Science, and these are the students of the International uh, Special Course International Resource Science. Thank you. So as we can see here, I've got some students, and these students are also from the special course. They are in the third year, and they are peeling uh, some uh, mikan and also sweet potatoes. As we can see, normally we will throw away these sweet potatoes, you know, these uh, pills, we will throw away these uh, pills. But what we do and what we believe in our laboratory is that uh, we should recycle everything. We should actually take agricultural waste and make the benefit and make something that we can use back in agriculture. So our motto is uh, zero waste. So now these pills, we use them to synthesize nanoparticles. As uh, I was saying that uh, the, uh, the agricultural waste, we use them to synthesize nanoparticles. In our laboratory so far, we have used them to synthesize copper nanoparticles. And uh, please uh, go to the next slide, yes. And uh, here it's just showing what nanoparticles are. And uh, what we have done actually is that we have taken a sweet potato peel, and we have taken mikan peel, and we have also taken daikon peel. And these ones, we have used them to synthesize copper nanoparticles. How we do this is that... Hello everyone. I currently work here as a research assistant, and I was the second graduating of special course in this lab. When I was undergraduate, I took classes in variety of disciplines. Then I became very interested in functional foods and joined this laboratory. 
functional food science allows us to learn about foods that are very related to our health. So it is very enjoyable field to research. Functional food is a food claimed to have an additional function. For example, polyphenols. It is rich contained in grape juice and wine and black tea and green tea. And also, lutein, which is a group of xanthophyll, is also a functional food. All these food and drinks are reported to have antioxidant property. My name is Miguel and I'm a teacher at the Faculty of Fisheries of Kagoshima University. And today I'm going to be introducing to you uh, about uh, baits, the baits that are used for catching crabs. Uh, traps, as you, the one you can see here, are used to uh, catch crabs and they're usually baited with some fish. And uh, the water current in the sea will usually carry the bait odor downstream to where a crab is located. And if the crab is hungry, he will react to it and approach towards the trap and hopefully go in. I usually target two types of swimming crabs. This one is the blue swimming crab. In Japanese, it's the Taiwan Gazami. And the other one is the shore swimming crab, which is a Ishigani in Japanese. And uh, I use them because they're easily caught near our faculty and uh, very convenient to, to use for my research. And uh, the other things I use in my research are traps. I show you two of the common traps employed around here. This top one is a box trap. It has uh, two V entrances. They're shaped like a V, but actually the organism has to push in and widen the entrance so the animal can get in, and then they will close again. And it has a small mesh size because it's used to catch octopus, crabs, and eels. Here on the bottom... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad you watched this video. My name is Sakagami, and I am a person in charge of the special course in International Food and Resource Sciences. In this special course, several studies are conducted in the field of agriculture and fisheries. For example, my lab focuses on plant adaptation and responses to poor environment and the development of stable crop production technology. So, let me introduce some of those studies. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm a first student of the special course. Food security uh, suffered from uh, many aspects. We can look at these problems uh, from the comprehensive side without no gap between uh, fishery and uh, agricultural sciences. After that, we can contribute to uh, solve these problems in specific research fields. In my case, I belong to PhD course and research about crop and environmental stress for the food security under the, under the global climate change. If you have the interest, please join us. Thank you. Uh, my name is Hana Haruna Putri. I'm a master student uh, in second year and I'm from Indonesia. Nice to meet you. Uh, my experiment is about chili pepper uh, in water logging condition which have water uh, so it's low oxygen uh, and this is two variety this is two different variety uh, one the small one is habanero from Mexico and then the taller one is called srikandi from Indonesia and then if you compare to the other variety here this is the control or well water with the best condition appear. Uh, the height and the condition, the leaf is different. Uh, then we will see what is make the 
uh, in the water logging condition different with the control condition and then what's the difference between each variety. We start Hello, I'm fourth year student in special course in international food and resource sciences. In this course, you are able to gain the knowledge of food production from both agriculture and fisheries. What's more, you can learn about international relations as food, food trade or food economic. In this way, there are a lot of classes, then you can choose the favorite classes that you want to join. After I entered this course, I realized that the importance of different importance of having different viewpoints rather than uh, just knowing the partic one p particular side of it. In addition, we can take the practical English classes so your English skill will be improved absolutely. Fortunately, you can, more, you can have more chance to going ab go abroad so you can try your English skills in abroad. Besides, teacher and my friends in my course have different background and part broader perspective, which inspire a lot, inspire me a lot. Finally, we are looking forward to you joining us and spend in rich, precious student life in this course. Hello everyone, my name is Liu Lun Yu. I'm the research student and I'm from China. Here is my experiment. In the greenhouse, uh, I will analyze the drought, uh, drought resistance of different rice varieties under different uh, drought stress. Here are four treatments. This is control, only nutrient solution. And this is mild drought. Uh, is nutrient solution and 5% PEG. Here is moderate drought, nutrient solution and 10% of PEG. Here is severe drought, nutrient solution and 15% of PEG. Different rice varieties show different drought resistance. Um, that's my experiment. Thank you very much. Xin chào mọi người, tên của tôi là Hằng, tôi đến từ Việt Nam. Hiện nay thì tôi đang là du học sinh năm 2, bậc thạc sĩ của Đại học Kagoshima. Rất vui được gặp các bạn. Mẹ sẵn con nít chua. Việt Nam mừng xuất sinh nô hàn tô mong xí mát. Kéo nê bù dì nì quốc sai xúc lý ô xí gèm gạc cử tốc bệnh cố sử ô xúc lý ô xí mát. Hôn dì tư, con nô cố sử nô tốc chô tô, tớ xí gà 4 nền kàn mì nì chú kê tà gò tô ô kàn tà nì xí gà xí tà nà tô ô mô tê ô lê mát. 一つ目の特徴としてえ国際的なことがたっぷりで英語能力がスーパーアップされることです一年生から二年生まで集中講義などで基礎的な英語の授業がえ設定されます日常二つの特徴として勉強がアクティブえ講義に参加して聞くだけ